Good, we're back. This is the second part of a two-part series on how to build a Joe stove. I've, uh, since the last or first video of this series, I've marked in the various names and just we like just to go over so that you'll be able to get an understanding of how to uh, of how it runs then of how to put it together yourself. You guys that know how to weld and fabricate metal this should be uh, fairly easy for you. You have your Joe pipe here. Around your Joe pipe you have your water plenum. You can keep your water plenum uh, round, no fancy configuration. Shouldn't be that hard to there should, <clears throat> should be something on the market, maybe an old hot water tank or something like that that should be cut down and with a little bit of cutting you'll be able to use it, modify it. Just talking about this area right here, you have your fan that blows air into your drill pipe, right? And you have your propane going into the into the end of your drill pipe here. So your air mixes with your propane and you might have a little door over here that you could actually open and you know, maybe have a soft igniter, but you still want to be able to wash out flame somehow. So you'd actually need some kind of a an open door here in the outside that you can you know check on the flame and to light it. Okay, so basically you have your your air and your fuel going into the pipe to create your uh, level three burn. So, you know she's gonna you're gonna light it out here. It's gonna create your your level one. And then level two when it's on level three, you can bring it back to level one, level two, and bring it back to level three. And uh, so you can take your whole water jacket assembly and put it within a hexagonal framework. You guys that know how to use brakes and all that, you should be able to break uh, two pieces of metal and you know have just have just a couple seams and have it so that the water plenum being round you know makes a, a tight fit into the hexagon. So the hexagon is actually supporting the the, the piece. Wouldn't be that hard to do. All right, then you got your outer containment here that holds everything together. So as you're uh, creating the heat here, you do need a fan. If you don't add a fan on the outside, you're not going to be able to get rid of your heat. And since the stove creates about well, three times more heat than, than what's out there, you need a blower. And so you can actually blow in, blow in uh, uh, cold air from the outside, from the room or whatever. So it has to be the deflector plate, and it mixes with the the uh, hot air generated, or hot gases or exhaust generated by the flame. The flame comes out here, and hits this uh, cone. So you have like a double cone, and it throws it out. And the same thing with the fan; it throws the air around. And there may be a way to uh, divert uh, the majority of the of the heat up toward the top. It'll take a little bit of thinking. I haven't uh, envisioned how this can be done yet, but it's, it shouldn't be that difficult to do. And that way, you can go from a you know a space heater to to a stove you know between anywhere between 200 to 500 degrees, and keeping it keeping the heat down, that's going to be the challenge. So your fan there will actually control, help to control the, the, the cooling of your cooking surface. And for your cold water, you would have your cold water come into the bottom here. Uh, you could have this, hook, this hooked up to, a, to your furnace in the, in the colder clim climates. You could have a truck radiator uh, inside your furnace. And you know you could run your lines to it. You could have like a double hookup 
with uh, two inputs and two outputs, you know, two cold water going in, two hot water coming out. So, you know, you could have heat more than just uh, have hot water for your hot water tank. You'll also have hot water for to, to run to your furnace to heat your entire home. And your propane is, that goes to your, your propane bottle on the outside. And that's, that's it, that's the, the operation here. So you basically got your three pieces, you got your drill pipe, you got your water plenum, and then you got your outer containment. And uh, you don't need to put the fan there, but that's the best place for it. If you want to make it a cosmetic, you could probably, uh, I'm just going to scoot over here, make a, another extension here, it just keeps the kids from bumping into it and things like that. And you can do the same thing with that and it just, keeps things cool and uh, I got a feeling this will get hot anyway so I might have to put some you know extensions uh, around it. Well, that's you know what I envision as far as being a, being a stove that has all around purpose and uh, if you have any comments or any suggestions or any improvements please feel free to contact me at uh, my email, uh, or just make make a comment on the YouTube site. You know, I'll get back to you. That'd be the best. And uh, okay, there you have it.